old Spanish days wouldn't be the same without the outfits worn by the dancers. As News Channel reporter Tracy Lair shows us in this exclusive report, a local seamstress has been making them for decades. When a fiesta spirit dancer wears a dress made by Maria de los Angeles, it really makes an impression, and sometimes the seamstress cries tears of joy. I cried when I saw one of the dancers. She looked adorable, and I started crying. Due to the pandemic, the seamstress couldn't watch the spirit competition in person. Now, with restrictions eased, things will be different during Old Spanish Day's events in August. Savannah Hoover was chosen as junior spirit. She will be wearing more than half a dozen dresses made by Maria, including this white gown. Ready? Wow. You gotta make it look nice and pretty and make the dancer able to dance. Maria considers the design a collaboration. Let me check the length. You kind of see it as like a piece of fabric at first and then you can see the very ending when the whole dress is made and it's really beautiful. Well, Maria and I collaborate really well together. I do all the design elements of it on paper, but she often, you know, has to say, Daniela, like these sleeves aren't going to work. Oh, I have a question here. Oh. It begins with a sketch by Savannah's dance teacher, whose brother was the only male junior spirit in the history of Fiesta. He's working a little bit with our junior spirit on a special dance to present during Fiesta. Maria is also making more than 60 other dresses for flamenco dancers, including these in deep purple. I'm very excited because purple is one of my favorite colors. And also the design with the low back and everything and the lace just is really pretty. Oh my God. Work it really, really, really hard. Like uh, 18 hours every day, even with two helpers, because it's a lot, a lot of work. Maria also comes to the rescue during wardrobe malfunctions. I have ripped a lot of dresses before. Sometimes you have to like learn to pull up your skirt before sitting down. And sometimes when your arms grow up, sometimes it rips. Maria is a miracle worker. And when we got the dress a week before the spirit auditions, it did not fit properly. So Maria is again a miracle worker and created this dress to become a regular dress. She's talking about a flamenco dress bought in Spain with a long train and a special name, the bata. It's one dress? It's one long dress. Maria learned to sew in Mexico when she was a young mother. Here in Santa Barbara, between March and August, her fiesta creations are the majority of her business. Her Santa Barbara shop feels intimate as dancers come and go for fittings year after year. One of the dancers, I've been making her dresses since she was five years old and now she's 18. Dancers like to recognize her style. Long sleeves and lace, yes, and lace, and really bright colors. Except for the all white ones, only worn by spirit title holders. The dancers say the dress can really make a performance. I think Maria is really sweet and she's very creative and has so many ideas that just make fiestas so enjoyable because to have a really good fiesta, you have to like your dress a lot. And they think Maria's love for them is on full display. I just know that she's really happy and that makes me really happy because usually what I look forward to is seeing the joy on everyone's faces. Sometimes that extra spark leads to waterworks. Every time the spirit or junior walks out on this stepping stool in their finalized pequeña dress, we have tears in our eyes every single time. This one. Look how, how lucky she is. So she is amazing, and she doesn't just do fiesta work. She's an incredible seamstress with a very amazing attention to detail and I think that makes her um, really special and unique. Oh my gosh, yes, that is stretchy. This is truly a sneak peek as no one is supposed to see her in white before opening night. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Bon? In Santa Barbara, 
I'm news channel reporter Tracy Lair.